Several local educators are voicing their thoughts on the state of our public education system. Today, they met with the governor here in Greenville during a roundtable discussion. On your side's Erin Jenkins was also at that meeting. She joins us tonight here in the studio. So, Erin, what came out of the discussion? Well, actually a lot. Right now, Governor Cooper has us in a state of emergency for education. He says he's worried public schools aren't getting the funding needed from the state legislature. Today, he heard how local schools in counties like Pitt, Tide, and Perquim could be impacted by that lack of funding. Teacher pay. I want the state of North Carolina to value me as an educator. I don't want to leave North Carolina in teaching. Encouraging policies and laws that promote economic development or rural areas, as well as housing. It's important that we keep our public schools funded and strong with the resources that they need to prepare our students to go on to that next stage of life. With various concerns from educators around the table, one of the biggest concerns is public school funding. I want my children in their classrooms to have everything that they need. And so when money goes to charter schools, it takes money from my students. Governor Roy Cooper says he's worried Republicans are trying to expand a voucher program for private schools in their latest budget talks. Now they want a voucher program on steroids. We're talking billions of dollars over the next few years, and the studies show that this is going to take money away from many of our public school systems, particularly in our rural areas. Local public school teachers and administrators say they see how this could hurt their students because anyone is allowed to attend their schools. Things like this voucher system is legislative segregation. And I feel like we're going backwards instead of forwards. Public schools is supposed to be about equity. It's supposed to be about diversity. And this is doing everything but embrace equity and diversity. Public school is the only school that is going to cater to exceptional children. Children that have different learning needs and different things that they need from their teachers and their teachers' assistants. And we did reach out to Republican representatives in our area about this expanded voucher program. Representative Phil Shepard in Onslow County says in part, quote, the state voucher program is being expanded to enable more students to be able to attend private schools. Parents should be able to choose where to send their children, end quote. Republican House and members are expected to release their version of the budget sometime this month. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thank you.